Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel. If you are currently wondering who has a crush on you, or you're wondering about someone that you are currently crushing on yourself, listen up because this video is for you. In today's video, I'm going to be going in detail about your crush, but there's a twist. I actually draw your crush. And I'm sure you're like, excuse me, what does that even mean? Like, what are you talking about? So don't worry, I'm going to explain everything and tell you what I mean exactly. But first, let me just introduce myself. My name is Megan and I am the lead psychic at The Relationship Psychics. I believe that you are here with me for a reason. I mean, just really think about it here. Out of all the videos and all the times that you could have watched this video, you're watching it right now. So just let that sink in. Also, if you could just give this video a quick thumbs up to affirm the message today, that would be amazing. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, definitely, definitely make sure to subscribe. If you like free pick a card readings and you know, just being part of an amazing spiritual YouTube community, we would love to have you. So please, please, please just hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't yet, download our new app, Mystica Psychic Readings. It's available for both iPhone and Android and it's a super cool psychic resource. So I totally recommend. Okay, so now we are going to get started with our little reading and just get ourselves attuned to this message today. I first would love it if you could just take a deep inhale through your nose, breathing in positive vibrational frequencies, and then exhale through your mouth, releasing and letting go of all of your fears and all of that negative energy and just letting that flow through your fingertips back into the universe. Today, we are just so grateful to be present and to be mindful in this reading. As I'm going to guide you by showing you a drawing of the person who is crushing on you, or alternatively, providing you with more insight by affirming someone that you yourself are crushing on. So basically, I just want you to choose one of these three piles here and really just trust your intuition. Trust that you will be guided to the pile that you were meant to choose. I will then do a reading for you on either the person who is crushing on you or I will be affirming your current crush and giving you more details on them as well. Let's just open up our third eye chakra and align ourselves and attune ourselves to the energy today and just be open. Be open to receiving whatever message we are meant to receive. Once you know which of these three piles is calling to you, either pile number one, the blue pile and blue crystal, pile number two, the pink pile and the pink crystal, or pile number three, the green pile and the green crystal, then you can just use the timestamps that I have located in the description box below to jump to your particular reading. Or of course, you can just watch all three of the readings and see which parts of the messages really resonate with you. I am just so excited to dive into this reading today with you on your crush or the person who's crushing on you and just to see them for ourselves. So let's get started. Hello, group number one. I am so excited to do this reading for you today on the person who's crushing on you or on potentially your crush as well. So we are actually going to look at a channeled drawing of this person. But before we get into that, I just actually wanted to roll my astrology dice and see some numbers and different zodiac signs that we can look out for when it comes to this person. Okay, so let's start with our number dice here and see if there are any numbers that are important with this person. Interesting, five is very important. And I just want you to take note here that this could be days, this could be birthdays, this could be months, this could be a lot of different things, but I definitely believe that five and 10 are very important when it comes to this person that is crushing on you. So I would definitely just take note of these numbers, whether you wanna just make a note on your phone, whatever you can do to really just save these numbers and refer back to them when the time makes sense. Okay, next I'm just going to roll our zodiac dice here and see if we're getting any potential zodiac signs for this crush. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so we have Gemini and we have Aries, so fire and air so far. Let's just roll a few more times since this is a collective group reading, just to tap into everyone's energy. 
Pisces and Scorpio. So water. Awesome. And now let's just head into our reading and our actual drawing of your crush or the person who is crushing on you. Okay, so here we go, guys. Definitely go with whatever gender you are sexually attracted to. This reading goes deeper than gender alone, but I just want you to kind of take note of that as well. So I believe we will start with the male, and this is the drawing that I channeled for my group number one when I was meditating on your crush or the person who's crushing on you. And I kind of just want to go over some of what I'm getting when I was drawing this person just to kind of give you a little bit of a backstory on some of the character traits that I'm already getting and of course you know at the end of the reading we can draw a few tarot cards and oracle cards as well to kind of confirm and see what we're getting from there so yeah I'm just really excited here so this is the person that I got from a male perspective group number one on who will be your crush or the person who is secretly crushing on you and one of the things that I wanted to kind of mention here as I kind of go over their character traits is a few personality things that really kind of came to me as I was making this sketch and drawing this sketch. One thing that I really got about this person is that they're very like gentleman-like, if that makes sense. So I could also see if this person does have a crush on you, them not necessarily coming forward and telling you right away because, and the reason for that actually would be because they like are very driven by honor and doing the right thing. So maybe they feel like they can't for some reason. It's not because necessarily they're shy. They're definitely a very brave person. That's another thing I wanted to mention. They're definitely very brave, very courageous, very daring. But they also are very thoughtful, if that makes sense. They're very thoughtful of others' feelings and very like emotionally aware. So if it would cause any like discomfort or any problems or stress for either of you or whatever situation it is, they may kind of be reserved about telling you their feelings for you, but their feelings for you are definitely like they felt it. But again, I'm feeling that they're not coming forward and saying these things like they're feeling it very strongly and they're definitely someone who's thinking about you a lot as well is another really big aspect that I'm getting here. So this person has kind of you know, they have a little bit of a stylish hair do, I would say. Definitely shorter hair, but it's definitely well-maintained as well. But it's not like so well-maintained because they also do have a little bit of like a wild side about their personality, which kind of transfers over into how they do their hair. Like they're together, they're polished, they're presentable and kind of fashionable, but they also have like an edge to them. So it's like an edgy, stylish kind of do, I would say. And it kind of also shows their personality. Like they are very kind hearted. They're very loving, but they're also very courageous, daring, brave. Sometimes they'll just do what they think is right. Even if they didn't think it through is another thing I'm getting. So this person is definitely a tad impulsive as well, but they definitely, when it comes to thinking of doing the best thing for others, they always want to put others first and they want to put like your thoughts before their own thoughts. Like they would definitely sacrifice. They're the type of guy who would absolutely sacrifice for you and would make the sacrifice because they really do have these deep feelings for you. Another thing that I got is I feel like they really liked you from like the very like first time they met you in a way because like I feel like you had a little bit of like a sparky kind of energy about you where you almost kind of like were unconventional and you would just you were unlike any other woman or girl that they've ever met before. And that really stuck out to them. Like they loved how you had this fiery personality and kind of like this, you weren't just another typical basic girl, if that makes sense. It was like, you definitely have like a lot of, you're definitely multifaceted. You're definitely someone who's maybe down to earth or like willing to kind of get your hands dirty or just really witty and funny and kind of sees the world in a different way like there's definitely something that's very unique about you and that he this crush definitely notices that and really admires that about you like as soon as they met you they were like whoa like I would never even guess that someone like this would be like that does that make sense like you are unique and you present that witty down-to-earth kind of personality that they're just addicted to because they've never seen that with anyone that they've ever been exposed to before and like they prefer you to other girls, if that makes sense. They prefer you because you do have so many different dimensions. Like I feel like they think you're beautiful, but you're so much more than that. 
And that's what I really love about this person too, is like, I see that he sees that you are beautiful, but it's really like down to who you are as a person and you have such a big heart. And they also love that about you too. Like, even though you do like to kind of build a wall, that's another thing I'm getting to that he sees at least. He sees that you kind of like to almost act like you're tougher than you are, but you have this heart of gold underneath. And he sees that and like loves that about you or really admires that and likes that about you and is attracted to that aspect of you as well. Another thing I'm getting about him as a person too, in addition to, of course, his, he has very kind eyes. If you can see too, as well, like very kind, loving eyes, very like, li like he listens very well, very like gentleman very down to earth he's never someone who thinks he's better than other people that's another thing i'm getting he's very down to earth and like very humble very humble and he's so great but he never like acts like he's so great instead he's just very humble and he is completely not consumed with like who's cool or who's not cool like those kind of labels he's very like against labels he thinks that you know everyone is equal and it's all about being a good person and having a good heart and even though, you know, he has risen up a lot in the world because I feel like he definitely came from humble beginnings is another thing I got while I was drawing him. Like he came from humble beginnings. He knows how to really work with his hands, if that makes sense. Like he definitely is someone who has in the past and maybe still currently loves working with their hands and kind of definitely came from a humble background, a humble family. And another thing that's actually interesting too is I got that he had a great relationship with his mother, but he had a very bad relationship with his father. His father was very toxic and either left him at a young age or like something toxic happened with the father, but he still had a good relationship with his mother and he really honored his mother in a lot of ways. And that's kind of why he also wants to honor someone who has a good heart and who is like pure hearted, I guess. And the other thing I'm really getting about him as well is like, he is very down to earth and he loves being like working with his hands. So he'll be the kind of person who's like really good with tools or really good with like fixing things, stuff like that. Like he's very good at that sort of a thing. And I feel like you may not necessarily be, but like you are in your own way. Like you still do have some of that toughness and that rawness that he really likes and respects about you, but he still will be there too to like do some of those things that you don't necessarily enjoy as well. And he has really been able to work himself like up in society, but he doesn't, he's not a social climber. Like it was only because he is so talented and so smart and so great, but he still is very humble and like very rooted in who he was and who he is. So that's another thing I really want you to kind of pay attention to with this crush and this person. And one other thing too that I'm really getting about him is that he's very like romantic at heart, even though he is kind of like a manly man in so many ways and is so courageous and daring and brave and all these things and like funny and like all these things that are very masculine. Like I really get a lot of masculine energy about him, but at the same time, he really does value like romance and like wooing you and he really values finding true love. Like that's something that he's very he's very like completely devoted to at the same time. So he does have that like beautiful balance where he's super masculine, but he's also such like a good hearted person who also does value finding that person and finding their soulmate. So that's another thing I'm really getting about him, which I really love. And I kind of wanted to let you know as well. So I just feel like overall, obviously he's a very handsome, very attractive man. And he has a lot of backstory as I already got while I was drawing him and sketching him. But I just feel like definitely take a few moments, let this sink in. This could be, again, someone who currently has their eyes set on you. Or it could be someone who you personally are crushing on. And this can kind of confirm that for you as well. So next, we are actually going to move on to our female. And I hope you enjoyed the male version so far. We will kind of just keep that over there. And of course, we are going to draw a few cards at the end too to kind of I'll go over this but this is our female version okay so I want to just kind of point out here is that for our female version I'm getting so many similarities to our male group okay so she is someone who has definitely come from humble beginnings she did not have necessarily a very stable a very stable family life growing up she she definitely had one of her parents just like how for him, I definitely felt like it was the dad who was kind of distant. For her, 
I don't know necessarily if it was the dad or the mother who was, who was distant for her, but definitely not like an easy way that she grew up. And another thing I'm getting about her specifically is that she definitely had to kind of take care of the family in a lot of ways because of the toxic childhood that she went through or like the family life that she kind of went through. She's definitely very much like a caregiver and she's someone who's like tough is another thing I'm really getting about her. Like she's someone who is able to like take care of herself because she's so used to having to grow up and take care of everyone else and like take care of, you know, she knows how to, she's not afraid to take action, to do what she has to do in order to like survive and thrive. So she's definitely someone who's like kind of down to earth is kind of what I'm getting at here. She's very down to earth. She definitely didn't grow up with privilege so she's definitely had to learn a lot about really getting, you know, down to earth and learning how to work hard. And that's something that's really great about her that I'm getting as well. Another thing that I'm really getting about her too, though, is that she does kind of always wish for and has always really wanted to find someone, but she's scared. Like she basically, and that's something that you might want to look out for too with her is that she might have her walls up because she's scared because like in her life so many people have let her down and especially that started with her family life as well and so like now she's so used to having to do everything herself it's almost hard for her to like lean on another person and actually like let someone take care of her so that's something that I really want you to pay attention to especially in the in the aspect of this being someone who's either crushing on you or whatever. She's not going to necessarily act like she's head over heels for you. Okay. She's really going to try to deny it. She's going to try to pretend that she doesn't have those feelings to herself and to you as well. And she's really going to like put up a fight almost because she is afraid to be so vulnerable and open with someone and to really admit how she feels because she's been hurt in the past. So that's another really big thing I'm getting about her. So even though it's like something where I really want you to keep at it, if this is the person that you're crushing on or this is the person crushing on you, she's not going to always act nice. She's probably going to tease you a lot, probably like kind of almost be mean to you sometimes when she's showing affection for you because of all of that backstory that she has going on because like she truly does actually like you. She truly does care. And that's, that's the other thing I want you to kind of like keep note of here that you're going to have to really pursue and continue and continue to kind of be rejected by her in some ways or kind of be belittled by her or like be told that she doesn't have feelings before she will finally open up and fully realize herself but also fully be able to admit it to you as well because it will be something that even though she puts on such a brave face and that she's so tough it's something that she's not tough about when it comes to like her feelings or letting people in another thing I wanted to mention about her too is she's very very beautiful she has I would say eyes that are a little bit more separated, but very big eyes, very wise eyes. And again, that kind of goes back to show how she has seen a lot in her life. Okay. She's seen a lot in her life and she's curious. She's a very curious person and she's curious about you too. Right. And another thing I wanted to mention here too, is she has a very strong nose. She has a very strong direction. She knows what she wants and she knows like she's going to do what it takes to get there. Okay. And that kind of goes hand in hand with her nose. The other thing is, you know, she's definitely not someone who focuses too much on fashion and style, but she is naturally so beautiful, okay? So that's another really big thing I'm getting about her. Like, she's someone who's very down to earth, isn't necessarily like a super girly girl, but she's still so beautiful. She just radiates beauty because of that inner heart that she has. So anyway, that's the two people I'm really getting for your crush, um, both male and female. I hope that that's already someone hopefully that you know in your life and that's kind of making sense so far. I also want to just draw a few cards for you too to kind of help there as well. And let's see what we're getting. Okay, so first we're gonna shuffle this deck and see about your crush. So let's learn about your crush, about your crush, about your relationship with them or just, oh my gosh, okay. So this is interesting and this makes a lot of sense because this card is about what lights you up. So what I'm getting for this is like, this person definitely hasn't told you how they're feeling or you haven't told them, right? Because again, this can be both different scenarios. So either you are watching them from afar still, or they are watching you afar and they're really afraid to speak their mind and tell you because 
on one hand we have the female who I'm getting more so is really someone who's really put up walls when we have the male who's someone who's instead really afraid to like offend or like hurt feelings or really kind of shake things too much so those are the two aspects I'm getting when it comes to why this person isn't necessarily coming out and saying how they're feeling, but they're definitely feeling these things, okay? They're feeling these things deeply, just like we kind of talked about, but they're not feeling like they're comfortable enough to really open up about it. Let's just shuffle a little bit more in this deck and see. Woo! Okay, so we have Sisterhood of the Rose. Wow. Okay, so this makes a lot of sense because... This card really is so much about, first of all, like it's about loyalty, okay? It's about being very devoted to someone, just as the card says, beauty and devotion. And I get that. I get that about both of these people, you know, both the female and the male versions that I drew because he is definitely someone who is diehard devoted and loyal to his family. He puts his family first. He puts the people he cares about first. And he will do anything to take care of them. He will be anything. He will just literally do anything to care for and protect his family. Very masculine in that way. Then for our feminine side, what I'm getting here is like she literally like she is so devoted to someone. Like she has such a big heart. But because people have hurt her in the past, she is afraid to open it up to another person. So she but she is fiercely loyal. Like once she actually fully trusts you that's it. You know, it's one of those things. So it's like kind of just getting into that, getting into her aura and, you know, beauty, beauty on both the inner, you know, both of them have beautiful hearts. Hearts is a big thing I'm getting here, but they also are very attractive, very attractive, both kind of a little bit down to earth attractive. And I like that they don't try too hard, but they're just naturally, naturally very beautiful, very attractive, very handsome. And yeah, there's just, there's a lot of aspects of that card as well that I'm getting with these people and with your crush. So I really love that. Next, we're going to shuffle another deck. I'll just shuffle this deck here. See what we're getting here about your crush. Whoa. Okay. So this card, this card's interesting because this card, we have creative blocks, okay? And it says, if you are an artist of any kind, I mean, both of them could be potentially artists, but one of them is definitely, definitely an artist, okay? And they have like a lot of emotion and their emotion kind of flows into their artwork, okay? So when they're feeling like discouraged or feeling like upset, it really does flow into their work. And this could be both artistic or just whatever they do in like, for their passion and what they do in life. So that's another thing to kind of take note of. And then we're just gonna shuffle here about your crush, about your crush, about your crush. Okay, definitely this, divine timing. So I feel like this relates more to your connection with this person. They obviously, just like our star seed card showed us, there's definitely a disconnect. They're not in communication with their feelings or you're not in communication with your feelings. There's not, you know, good communication going on. So what is this saying? This is saying that the two of you will be able to express how you're feeling, either you to them or them to you in the right time, okay? And I feel like this reading hopefully helped you to understand who this is so you can really understand if you feel the same way or how you're feeling about them and you can know that these feelings will be expressed. They will come to light, but just in the right time, in the divine timing and just having faith and trust in that as well. So anyway, that is it for my reading today on Your Crush. I hope you really enjoyed it and really found this reading to be very insightful on your crush or that person who is secretly crushing on you. If you did, just definitely make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, of course, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed and comment down below if this reading resonated with you or if this is someone that you notice in your own life as well. I would love to hear that and see that. So definitely make sure to do that too. Anyways, I'm just so grateful and blessed and happy that you were here with me today for this reading and I'm sending all of my love and light your way until next time. Bye guys. Hello, my group number two, my pink crystal group. Let's take a look and see this channeled drawing of your crush. So either the person who is currently crushing on you or someone that you are crushing on. So we're gonna take a look and see the channel drawing, both male and female, I have drawn here. So whatever you are sexually attracted to is the one that I would go to.
for that and I'm excited to get started. And before I do, I'm actually first going to roll my astrology and numerology dice so we can kind of get a better understanding of some numbers to look out for as well as some zodiac signs. Let's start with numbers. So these can be dates, these can be birthdays, these can be a lot of different things, but it will definitely make sense to you. And if it doesn't yet make sense, I would write down these numbers, write them down in either your phone or a notepad or wherever you can so you can refer back to them. Okay, so if you guys can see here, we had a double roll, I believe. Yep, we have two sixes and we have an eight. So write those down, 686 six, or 866 six, or, you know, the sixes especially are important here. Next, we're just going to roll for some potential zodiac signs to pay attention to for this crush. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have Aquarius and we have Virgo. Aquarius and Virgo. Air and Earth. Let's just roll again because this is a group community reading. So we just want to tap into a few different energies here. Okay, so if you guys can see here, we have Capricorn and we have Aries. Okay, so fire and earth for those. Great. Awesome. And then just kind of make note of those as well. And then we're going to look at our channeled drawings and sketches of your crush or the person who's crushing on you. Just take a look here. Okay, so here is my mail sketch for this person. And this is, you know, again, your crush, the person you are crushing on, or this is going to be the person who is crushing on you. And I wanted to kind of make note of a few of the things that I got as I was channeling this image and I was meditating. I really want to kind of dive into some of the character traits that I'm getting about this person as well. So, you know, obviously they have shaggy kind of very unkept hair, a little bit longer in length is another thing I'm getting, and definitely darker. They could be a variety of skin tones as well, I want to know here. Skin tone wasn't something that really called to me particularly. Another thing I really want you to kind of notice here is they have like piercing eyes, okay? They have very piercing eyes, and this person, this person is definitely someone who they have a little bit of a weight upon them, okay? They have a little bit of a darkness. They have a little bit of, of like guilt I'm getting and like shame. And they definitely feel a lot of, they feel like I'm just getting dark energy kind of, and not that they themselves are dark, but that they have to overcome something dark in their life. So they haven't necessarily had the easiest path is what I'm really getting about this person too. Another thing that you can really notice here though is that the eyes, so even though they are very piercing eyes, they are also very passionate, okay? This person has a very passionate soul and they're someone who gets angry. You know, they really have a lot of anger, but they also have a lot of love, okay? They're just very fiery in so many ways and they just, they completely like feel, like when they feel something, they really, really feel it and they really just feel it deeply. And they're almost allowing some of their shame, some of their guilt to make them feel like they're not a good person when in reality they do have so much good potential within them, but it's hard for them to always see that, okay? Because they do have such a fiery personality. They do have such an impulsive nature and a little bit of a dark energy going on as well. So that kind of allows them to not necessarily see clearly themselves. Another thing I wanted to note about this person too is they have a little bit of like a shadow going on with their face. So that could mean a lot of things. That could mean that they have a little bit of like a shadowy face. That could also mean that they have very prominent structure when it comes to their jaws or they have a little bit of dark circles under their eyes. But that also can kind of be because they are a little bit drained in so many ways. Like they are someone who is definitely like at war with themselves in a lot of ways is what I'm getting. Like they are having a lot of sleepless nights and part of the reason they're having somewhat of like a sleepless nights or like feeling a little bit, what is that? Kind of like beaten down. Beaten down is kind of the word I'm getting. Part of the reason they are feeling beaten down and 
not feeling so, you know, at their best, I guess, in some ways is because they're conflicted about their feelings with you. So that's another really big thing I want to mention here is like this person definitely like does feel things for you deeply, but there's a reason that they also feel like they shouldn't be feeling this this way or that they want to hide how they're feeling about you. So it's almost kind of getting to them and like gnawing at their soul because again, like I mentioned, they are such a soulful person that they really do feel things very deeply, are very passionate, okay? Another thing I'm getting here with our nose, which we have a very prominent, prominent dominant nose. I'm getting that this person is very much a leader in a lot of ways. They're very much a dominant personality. They're going to take control. They're, they're a little bit controlling is another thing I'm getting about this person. So somewhat of a controlling thing going on. And I feel like that's part of the reason that they are struggling with their feelings or their thoughts of you is because they feel like they can't necessarily control them. And it's making them feel out of control. Like how they feel about you is definitely causing them to feel a little bit out of control. And that's causing them that stress. And that's causing them to kind of wear themselves down, as we mentioned here. And one more thing that kind of just came to me here is like they see the best of themselves in you. Like they see all the positive parts of them. And like they see like this person who's just so full of light. And they want to be like that. They want to be full of light like you. They feel like they're not good enough for you in a lot of ways because of that, but you bring out like their joyous, happy, divine light side. So I kind of wanted to also mention that as well. Like they see so much like pureness in you, like pure, innocent, like love and just care and giving and a little bit of like optimism too in you. And that's something that they're not used to in themselves. So they really extra see it in you because they themselves are kind of on the pessimistic side of things. And you can kind of see that through They're a little bit of like a frown. They have a little bit of like a, like a frown or like a little bit of a scornful look on their face. A lot of the times, you know, even in their resting face position, they kind of have that, <laughs> that kind of look where they just don't look very happy a lot of the times. And that also goes into, again, the fact that you are kind of like a light for them and they're confused by it and they're intrigued by it at the same time and they're drawn to it, but they're feeling like they can't fully like let you know this or whatever. And I don't know why they feel like that. I don't know if it's because they can't because like of a relationship that one of you is in or if it's because of like maybe like I don't know necessarily, but there's definitely some like external factor that's causing them to feel conflicted about telling you like how they feel or like opening up to you about it. And it's causing them themselves to like beat themselves up for it. So I don't know why or what's going on with that, but that's definitely a big part of this person and like what's going on with them. So that's something definitely to really note here. And, you know, I hope that this already is making a lot of sense. Of course, I'm going to draw some cards as well towards the end but hopefully this person already is kind of standing out in your mind whether this is someone that you have seen before or not just kind of take note of that and then we're going to jump on over to our female here is our female beautiful and okay i love that okay so our female here she is let's let's take a look here because there's some things that this person shares with the male but there's some things that are a little bit different I'm getting and for our female what I'm really getting here is that she has come actually I want to say this for both of them both of them this is true <laughs> both of them have come from like amazing families that's a random little thing that just kind of came to me is like both of them came from really good parents and both of them came from like kind of like a lot of almost they came from real a really good circumstance like they both came from money I would say and like influence and that was definitely always on their side and both of their parents were very supportive of them so just wanted to mention that for both male and female here for group number two but definitely like I feel that you know we can go over her physical traits but I also wanted to mention a few of the things that I was getting as I was meditating and drawing her sketch so one thing I'm really getting here is that she had like such a really good childhood and then basically like something happened in her like in her child I don't know if it was her childhood necessarily it was like 
maybe more so her teens and something happened and then like she really had to like grow up a lot like she was very sheltered at first in life and she still sometimes displays that so that's another thing I wanted to mention like she still is very someone who sees like the best in people is very optimistic a little bit naive in some ways but she did have like she does have lots of layers because there was something that happened to her kind of not like early on in life but a little bit later towards you know in her life where she had to kind of adjust and like realize that there are such thing as bad people and that people who wanted to take advantage of her so that's another thing I kind of got about her right away another thing about her is she's like absolutely so beautiful like very very beautiful she has beautiful I'm getting like darker hair so either like brown hair or like black hair but she is very beautiful is what I really want to mention Again, her skin color can be any skin color. That wasn't something that really stood out to me. But one thing that did stand out to me for sure is her eyes are just absolutely like very big and beautiful and like soulful. And they really do see the best in people. And like they're very like, they're very loving, I guess, and like tender in a lot of ways too. So they just really like capture how much of like a beautiful soul she is. And, you know, she, of course, has, like, a little bit of, like, a cute little button nose. And, like, you know, she's definitely, like, kind of smiling, smirking a little bit, a little bit of rosy cheeks. And she's just kind of someone who sees, like, the best in other people and is kind of just, like, someone who just is so happy to, like, be alive. And she almost, like, this is another thing that kind of came to me. Because of whatever she went through early on in her life, she's even more of, like, a like a kind hearted person, like loves to have fun, loves to be with people she loves, loves friends and family and stuff now because of the stuff that happened to her earlier on that like almost made her not take things for granted any longer. Does that make sense? Like she definitely grew up in a spoiled sort of situation, but then something happened where she had to realize that she had to kind of not take the people she loves for granted any longer and always just like enjoy each moment and always like hope for the best as well. And she also is someone who, although she's very sweet, very kind, very loving, she will like defend people that she loves like very, very much so. So she will like fight for what she believes in because she is a very good person in so many ways is what I'm getting here. And as far as like with you, that she feels like you are someone who can relate to her in some ways where like you've had to go through some things in your life. And she, she kind of like really appreciates that about you. And she sees you as someone who's very strong is something I'm getting as well too. She definitely sees you as someone who is incredibly strong and strong willed. And she admires that about you. And she admires like the things that you've had to overcome in your life and like the person that you are today. Does that make sense? Like she doesn't define you by your past, but she sees that you've really made such progress in your life and like overcome things in your life. And she just respects that so much and views that with so much like, like awe because she just doesn't feel like that necessarily was something she had to do because she was very blessed early on in life. And so she really admires that. She definitely like sees the best in people and she sees the best in you and she just realizes what a great, amazing person you are. She's of course attracted to you, but it's so much more than just like looks is what I'm getting. Like she literally like feels very much drawn to just like the person that you are because you are such a good, amazing person. Like you can make her laugh is something I'm getting. You also kind of know how to like, I don't know, you kind of bring her down to earth in a lot of ways is another thing I'm getting too because she is so optimistic and idealistic, but you kind of allow her to like be more rooted and you balance her out in a lot of ways too. You kind of balance her out and she like really is drawn to that. Like she's drawn to like a masculine energy there that is able to really balance her out in that way. So anyway, I hope that that's all making sense so far um, for our female version and definitely make sure to kind of just take a note of these pictures, these images, and we will actually draw a few cards as well to kind of top off our reading today. First, we're gonna go with this deck here about your crush. That was definitely the card. Okay, that was definitely the card for us. What do we have? We have Imrama, which says, where are you being called to journey to? This is weird. This is interesting. This is very interesting because 
I feel like in both of these scenarios, the two of you are going to have to go on a journey together. Like both of you are not like where both of you start out. Okay. Where you start out with this person is definitely not going to be where you end up or even where you end up once you're like actually fully able to express the feelings to the other person. So it's like, you guys will almost have to really overcome a ton of different obstacles before you're able to admit the feelings. Okay. Does that make sense? So this is definitely someone that you're going to have to either go on a physical journey with or someone that you're just going to have to like overcome problems before you can ever potentially even be together. So let's draw another card for this person, for your crush or the person who's crushing on you and seeing what we can really. And another thing I wanted to point out is maybe this is why he is so torn and like so almost like torn down maybe it's because of these obstacles to get towards you or to get to you that could be one thing i'm getting here for that the crush your crush crushing on you group number two no oh my gosh okay so what i'm getting for you group number two with the no is like this is so serious okay so either you okay if this is someone who is crushing on you you have definitely told this person like no and you've like had you've made them wait okay or you're going to say no you're going to turn them down at first okay and if it's the other way same thing okay if it's someone you're crushing on they're going to at first turn you down okay like it's not going to be so clear cut and that's kind of just like our imrama card kind of showed us like it's not going to be a clear path forward with this person. It's going to take a lot of bumps in the road. It's going to be a journey and you got to like stick through it. If this person is someone you see yourself with, because this person, either you or them is going to say no, is going to be like, no, I, I'm not feeling it. Or like, it's not working. Like there's a lot of storms. There's a lot of like things on this journey that you're going to have to overcome if you want to stick it through. But one of you is definitely going to reject the other person. That's another big thing I'm getting here the person who is crushing on you let's just go with this one because it kind of interesting so we have strength reversed okay and what i'm getting here is like this person or you is definitely struggling with self-doubt okay insecurity low energy raw emotion struggle and pride right that is so much what i was feeling with our male okay Remember, like he's very prideful. He's very controlling and he's feeling this lack of control. He's feeling like he's doubting himself. He's feeling insecure. And that's really very quite interesting. That's interesting too. And like, and I feel like I'm really extra, extra feeling it with the male for us. But that, I hope that actually makes sense. And you know, another thing I could really like to point out here is maybe this is you. Maybe you're the one who's kind of doubting yourself, especially because there is this obstacle that keeps, you know, making its way towards your path and towards this journey or maybe because there's a lot of rejection in this connection as well I'm getting so it's another thing to kind of just be aware of here anyways I hope you enjoyed this little reading on your crush or the person who's crushing on you and if you did definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment below if you enjoyed or if you know who this person is that would be awesome and of course, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss when we upload a new video. And I'm just so grateful that you were here with me today. And I'm just sending all of my love and light to you. Until next time. Bye, guys. Let's take a look at what your crush or the person crushing on you looks like. So we're going to take a look at this channeled drawing and message today. But before we dive into that, I first wanted to actually roll my astrology dice. So first we're going to start with our numerology dice and see some numbers and potential dates for you to look out for when it comes to this person. Okay, so let's see. Okay, um, if that's not obvious, I don't know what is not. Like that's, or what? <laughs> I mean, wow, what? Like, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm blown away. One, 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 one. Okay, um... <laughs> Wow. Okay. Like there's, there's too much to even, I can't even like, I just now after that little angel number fun we had there, let's roll some potential Zodiac signs to look out for, for this person. 
Ooh, okay. So we have Leo, 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 Leo. We have Virgo, fire and earth. And let's just roll one more time. We have Scorpio and we have Aquarius. Now let's take a look, okay? Okay, so for our drawing now, I actually have a drawing of both a male and a female that I created while I was meditating on this reading, on this message. And definitely you can go and look at both of the male and female, or you can go with the gender that you are attracted to. And that's awesome. So I believe our first person is a male. Our male drawing. Yes, it is. Okay, great. Okay, so this is our male. And let's just kind of discuss a few of the physical traits that I really noticed about this, this man and some of the also personality and character traits that I got as I was sketching him. So one thing I want to really point out here is that this person, like this man, he is definitely going to be like extremely smart he's extremely smart he's almost like a genius in some ways like he's he's next level smart and I don't know if it's smart necessarily like having to do with books or if it has to do with some like talent of his or something that he possesses but basically like he's definitely gifted in certain ways he's also definitely very very intellectually next level okay so he's a deep thinker for sure the other thing I'm really getting about him is that he is like, hmm, okay, he's very like spiritually aware as well is something I'm getting. He's very rooted in his spirituality and he's very aware when it comes to that. He's very good at his priorities too. He definitely has his priorities in line and he, he thinks like he likes definitely getting the best of the best in life and he feels like you personally are like the best so it's almost like a compliment that he is attracted to you and like is having these feelings for you because he is someone who doesn't settle for anything less okay he's very funny but he's also very serious sometimes as well so i'm getting like when he's hmm, i'm getting both for that i'm getting like he can be very serious but he can also be very funny he knows where he's going i guess in a lot of ways too which is interesting. I'm also getting something about like he had a little bit of like a rough past in some ways too. So that's another aspect I kind of got with him. Kind hearted like at his core, but he doesn't always show it is another thing I'm getting. And that kind of shows like in his eyes, you can see like he has kind hearted eyes, but like his face, like everything else has been hardened in a way. So he's had to harden himself. But, like, at the root of who he is, is this, like, very, like, emotional person. I hope that this is someone, hopefully, that you actually know or, like, or something like that. Again, this could be any skin tone. This could be any, anything like that. He also definitely has, like, smaller ears is a big feature I really got with him. And he has, like, fuller lips. Fuller lips. And he has a really nice jaw structure and chin is something else. Very prominent chin very prominent jaw structure as well. You can see that deep down he has these like very loving, soulful eyes. So that's another thing I really want you to pay attention to with this person. And now we're gonna jump over to our female and talk about her for a little bit. So this is our female here. And I just want to kind of give you a rundown on some of the things that I was getting when I was drawing her and some of the things to look out for physically as well so she's very very beautiful okay she as just we talked about with our male version is definitely very confident though in herself and that could be partially because of her beauty okay she definitely has a lot of like belief in herself I suppose and she is like she's not what is that she's used to getting showered with compliments same with him he's also used to getting showered with compliments they're both very confident in a lot of ways and the other thing I'm getting about her is like she is very like one thing that definitely stood out to me is her hair is beautiful like very long beautiful I didn't get like a particular shade with her hair it could be a range of shades but it's definitely very like very long is what I am getting now about her hair and another thing I'm getting about her too is like she has 
very beautiful, like beautiful skin, very like flawless, glowing skin almost. It's almost like she radiates beauty. Like she really is very beautiful. Another thing about her too is that like, so if she is in your life, you definitely will know it is what I'm saying here. Another thing that I'm getting here too is like her eyebrows are like very nicely defined and she has like a very, um, she has a very narrow nose, but it looks like, it looks beautiful, of course. And then, you know, her lips are very full and beautiful, just as our male had very full lips. Both of them have very full lips, very beautiful lips. And she has a very good facial jaw structure as well. Her eyes are like beautiful, really big, a little bit more spread out, I would say, than narrowed. But that kind of also goes like into her personality and kind of shows you as well. Like she's just like her nose too is very confident and same with her chin. Like she definitely is very confident. She knows what she wants and she's willing to do what it takes to get that. that. But like you kind of threw her for almost like she wasn't expecting to really fall for you or she didn't really want to fall for you. But you just kind of like she's never like she's just so overwhelmed by you in a way because she wasn't trying at this time in her life to like actually even be with someone that's another thing I'm really getting about her is like she's not even trying to be like involved with someone on a romantic level because it's just not where her focus is right now and it's kind of like almost irritating her because you're kind of distracting her from like her goals and stuff she's very someone who has like a lot of goals in life and is very like ambitious same with him he's very ambitious has a lot of goals she also is very ambitious and has a lot of goals and you kind of like threw her off her path and that kind of like stressed her out in some ways so I just want to like kind of mention that as well so you know she's kind of just like going about like her thing like she's trying not to even focus like she gets a lot of attention from men and he gets a lot of attention from women and they're both not really focused on the romantic aspect of things. That's not what they're looking for. But you won them over. Like you won either her or him over depending on your own preferences. But basically like she was so like taken back when she like saw you. Because she wasn't even trying to really be involved in a romantic sense with someone. So that's one thing I'm really getting about her. Another thing I'm really getting about her is she's very strong. But she also has like a very beautiful like feminine like she has very feminine, beautiful features, but at the same time, she's very, very strong. And she's very like, she has these like big dreams and visions and goals. Again, that's another thing I'm getting about her. And she's definitely someone who likes to look out, like she likes to take care of people. She really is very like, if you are someone who, let's see, she definitely is someone who wants to care for the less fortunate. So she's very into charity is what I'm getting too. Same with him, same with him. But she's very much so like into like giving to like, like children or animals or like definitely participating or like elderly, something like the people who are kind of disadvantaged in life and marginalized in society. She wants to really give back to them for sure and really pour out her love towards those people and like help protect them in some ways. And like protect the in innocent, especially is what I'm getting with her and her personality. And she definitely is very passionate about that. And she sees that you are passionate about that too. So that kind of also is something that she really likes about you. Another thing that I'm getting she really likes about you too is you are very like, you're very true to who you are. And she respects that because she's dealt with so many guys in her past who like are not very honest and who aren't very like they try to win her over by manipulating her and like being showy and like she's so over that and when she met you and like like knows you she's like wow this is actually someone who's like true to their word like very like down to earth in those ways and like knows who they are it's not trying to be someone they're not and trying to just impress her and she loves how you kind of have a lot of masculine energy is what I'm getting like she loves how you are able to kind of like take control in some ways and make her feel like she's cared for but you also respect and know how much of a strong person she is in herself so you kind of just show exactly like what she needs and you balance her out in the ways she needs. So I really love that too. I also want to actually draw a few cards too to kind of compliment this reading today. Here and see about your crush and about this person. Oh, this, this card actually just came to us. So 
Okay, interesting. So this is actually funny because we have deep replenishment, which is at first sounds like what? But this actually makes sense because, oh my gosh. Okay, so both of these people, okay, so this is kind of about retreating, resting, being held. Like we just talked about, these people are both super motivated in life and super ambitious. And she is going to be someone who like, she needs someone who's going to like tell her like, it's okay, it's all okay. Like just, you know, slow down, it's gonna be okay. And to like hold her, right? The same thing with him. Like he's gonna need someone who's gonna balance him out and say like, slow down, it's all okay. Like be there presently and like, you know, kind of be mindful in the moment. Both of them need that. They need that because they're all, they're so driven. So like, duh, 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 duh. Almost, you know, just constantly going, going, going. And like, you're going to kind of give them like the relaxation, the healing, the ability to like slow down and like experience the little moments in life and enjoy life and not just always be like going and instead being able to be still and be mindful and to also just enjoy like the romantic pleasures in life as well. Like she will just love being held by you and like he will also love like holding you in his arms and like actually experiencing those moments with you. Those little moments is what I'm really getting. So let's just shuffle some more and see anything else we can learn about your crush or the person who is crushing on you. Okay, this is interesting. So this to me is symbolizing that this person could definitely potentially be a I'm getting a soul connection, okay? I'm not necessarily getting, like, this card often indicates twin flame energy, soulmate energy, but it also can be a different kind of soulmate connection or soul connection here. So whatever it is with this, these people, like these crushes, they're, it's going to be incredibly passionate. It's going to be incredibly fierce. And they're going to have come into your life for a very important reason. Like, destiny is at play in all of these relationships, okay, is what I'm getting. All these connections, there's big destiny, big things are going to come from them. Last but not least, we are just going to draw from, okay, that was pretty obvious here. We have the moon, okay, we have the moon. And this is interesting because the moon is so much about like, like basically it's all about your intuition and having almost like premonitions and dreams. Dreams are another big aspect of the moon card, okay. And what I'm getting here is that either like depending on if this is the person you're crushing on or if they're crushing on you, that person is definitely constantly appearing in that person's dreams, okay? So keep that in mind as well. So you may dream about this person very soon or have they've been dreaming about you, right? Because you've been on their mind so much. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little reading on you know, this person, your crush or the person crushing on you. And if you did enjoy it, Definitely make sure to comment below. Let me know if you actually know this person or have seen this person and that would be so awesome. And then, you know, give this video a big thumbs up. I would love that and appreciate it so much, of course. And subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel because that means so much to me to have you join our little family here on YouTube. So I would love that as well. Just sending all of my love and light to you guys. Until next time, thank you so much for being here today. Love you so, so much and sending all my prayers your way. Bye guys.